Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly Zodiac reading. This is for the week of December the 18th to the 24th. Um, before I get started on your cards, I just want to share with you the um, initial messages that I am getting for you guys. Now what I'm getting for you is that somebody needs your help. You're going to be helping somebody and it's going to be very big and impactful. Um, it's going to be really big and impactful for them because it's going to actually help that person to achieve great things, to get from one position to leap forward into another position, elevate them, get them unstuck, help them to leap forward, to skyrocket forward into their goals. And this person is going to do some good things um, with their lives. Like they're going to also impact a lot of other people. So you helping them it's like, yeah, you are you are helping them, but you're also going to be helping to and contributing to a much bigger picture here by helping this person with what they're going to achieve. Um, there is actually, this is guided from your ancestors because there is some sort of karma here between your bloodline and um, a bloodline of, of the person that you're going to help. There's some sort of like ancestral karma and that is actually going to clear a lot of karma for you as well um not necessarily the karma that you've created but just karma from your bloodline which is going to actually help you to to shift and quantum leap as well like it's a beautiful teamwork that's going on here um big things are going to happen for you in 2025 i know that's like a long time away or so it seems that it'd be a long time away um but you're going to be having a very sorting out sort of year, a preparational year um, in, in, the, in the next year uh, moving forward, ready for some huge, huge shifts um, and level ups in 2025. Dramatic changes for your life, taking you into a whole new world and a whole new level in 2025. So I feel like this kind of helpful task that you have right now in regards to this person it is in preparation it's one of those it's one of the things that you will be doing in preparation for 2025 but also um you're forming your tribe as well here uh the person who you'll be helping will be um you're bonding with them so they'll always be there moving forward and they will be because they will be leveling up too. They're going to be very capable and a really worthwhile ally, 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 ally to have in your life. So that is kind of like initially what is what is kind of coming forward um, predominantly for me, for you right now. Um, I'm going to get into your cards now. I have pre-shuffled the deck. We'll see what is coming up for the week ahead apologies for not having a reading last week i've been so ill um and i just could not i could not even get out of bed so there was no readings last week so apologies for that um but hopefully we have a good reading today and it makes up for it so leo what is coming up for you for the week ahead okay so we've got the two of cups followed by the Knight of Swords, followed by the Five of Pentacles, followed by the Star, followed by the Eight of Wands, followed by the Four of Swords, followed by the Nine of Swords, Followed by the Five of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Six of Wands. I want to get one more card to end this, the Knight of Wands. Okay. It looks like you're going to be freeing yourself. The devil at the bottom of the deck. You're going to be liberating yourself from a situation this week. It's not going to be pleasant. It's not going to be the most enjoyable. But it is necessary to 
get you out of one situation that is not working for you to be to free you up to be able to move quickly into something that is going to be a lot more successful and designed for you and the universe is working with you here to support you with this but you are going to you're going to be trying to do some problem solving you're going to give certain things your best shot but it's not going to work and it is because it's not for you. It's just not for you. There is a connection here. There is a partnership. There is something that you want. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be a person. It could be a relationship, but it could be something that you really want. It could be a job. It could be uh, a goal that you have or something that you're trying to achieve or something that you're trying to make work for yourself. It doesn't have to be a person, but it could be a person. For some of you, it's going to be a relationship. But there's something that you've really wanted that you feel makes you happy, that you, you, you're united with something, you're working with something and you feel that it makes you happy. But the reason why you're working, and I do feel like this is a relationship for some of you. I do. For some of you, though, it's not a relationship. It's work. But there is a bond here. There is, and I feel like it's weird because it's a bit like a trauma bond. It's some sort of something that needs to be healed in you. Something that is that you're lacking that makes you desire something there is a wound that that um you're needing to heal because it's making you desire something but it's giving you like a false sense of happiness like you think this is what you want you kind of got it a little bit it's not exactly how you want it but you're trying to work hard to to push it to be how you want it Some of you, it really, really, really is about a partnership. It's something that you really desire. You've been wanting to manifest. You want to attain. attain. Some of you have mother wounds. and Or for some of you, there is this kind of desire for abundance. And you want it to work. You want this. But I just feel like it's taking a lot of work. It's taking a lot of hard, hard work. But there is actually something that is... There is something that is going to be... It's either there's something that is going to be more effective for you to channel your energy into or then you need to do things in a different way. So anyway, there is communication that is coming in that is going to be leaving you feeling lack, physically drained, physically empty, lacking, uh, weak, unsuccessful, um, and wounded. There is this, some sort of news here. And I want to say it's a problem. There's a problem. Somebody is going to be speaking from the heart to you. And it's about something that they want or that they might be offered that's going to... It's like some sort of... It's something that they want. It could be a partner wants something, wants... They, they really desire something. Or a child wants something, okay? And... They're not 
this person that you're dealing with, if this is a person, is not seeing value in what they already have. They're wanting, 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 but they're not seeing value in what they have. Then this is making you feel depleted or you you feel that you can't provide them with what they want. And even if this isn't in, in regards to a romantic relationship, but maybe it's like a child who is putting pressure on you or something, or another person that wants something from you, but you feel that you can't, and this is in relation to career, it's like you haven't got the means right now to give them what they want. It is draining you. You're kind of just getting through right now what, what you're doing. And that makes sense to me. Like, it makes sense because of the stage of the game that you're at, Leo. Like, you are in this foundational building stage. There's there's certain people in your life that, that do not recognise that or don't not, they don't understand that. The star is coming in and it's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune that there is going to be a shift and a change for you. We've got death at the bottom of the deck as well. Something is going to end and we've got the Eight of Wands here, which is taking you into the Four of Swords. So there's some sort of like thinking or problem solving going on here that you're doing, I feel. Um, it's very interesting because the Eight of Wands with the Four of Swords, it's like fast moving energy into very slow energy. Um... But I feel like this is taking you more into a different state and this is taking you more into, I want to say problem solving. You have got the nine of swords as well following that, which is anxiety. There's some anxiety here. So you're trying to problem solve and be productive, but there's anxiety and there's conflict. And I feel that you feel that you're not supported by others. There is certain factors here or issues that you have that you're trying to solve and you're trying to be responsible as well for this and you're trying to please everybody and be and support everybody and provide you're trying to provide for for lots of people or you're trying to provide and build and grow or stabilize many different things that that require your time your energy your financial resources and you're, you're trying to do it all on your own here and there's someone or people in your life that don't understand this they don't see this they don't know this maybe you're not communicating that to them and what you're doing isn't it's not you're not at the level yet to be able to provide them with what they want and they're not recognizing what they have they lack they lack um they either consciously lack value in what they already have, or they're just too young if it's children. They're too young. They haven't matured into that yet. Um, and you're going to be feeling very uh, just cut up. You're going to be feeling very cut up about this. Um, but then we've got here the Six of Wands with the Knight, with the knight of Wands. So... It looks like there is some recognition that's coming in for you and there's some fast moving energy and I want to see what that is here. Oh, these all want to pop out. So something is coming on with coming something is coming in with the three of wands here. You've got some energy coming in. There is energy that is coming in. This didn't pop out, but it, I feel like it really wanted to. And we've got the ace of swords here. And I feel like this is new ideas, especially with, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ace of Wands. I feel like there's some new inspiration, new ideas. And we've got the King of Swords here. And I feel like he's going to be speaking some truth. And he's going to be very clear. And he's going to be very decisive. And make some hard decisions um, of what to do for the best here. There's going to be a letting go, a surrender of trying to fight and win a battle that you, you're struggling with, that is stressing you out mentally, that is draining you. It's like you're wanting to succeed in something, but it's just a lot for you right now. It's a whole lot. 
and you're going to be going in a different direction here with the six of swords okay now i feel like though you're going in a different direction the way you do things or even the way you communicate with people the way you handle things is changing you're shifting you're going to start something new i feel definitely in regards to maybe like career and work certain things are going to change or it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to change your career you're going to change the way you do things or you're going to change the way you do business or you're going to change the way you manage your finances or you're going to change you're going to change certain things to do with career and money here you're going to be a lot more present and realistic and grounded here in regards to your finances and your work you're going to be really kind of going back to the drawing board very present very realistic you're going to be really realistic here um but with this as well and you're going to be sorting out a lot of things that need to be sorted out that maybe you're kind of you might have been lacking on because you're trying to keep up with other people or people that are wanting things from you or you know certain things that you're that you're funneling money into it doesn't even have to be people up close to you you know it could be things like suppliers you know trying to like having to pay suppliers for stuff that you know like trying to be 10 steps ahead of your business than where you're at um it could be you know it could be premises it could be you trying to get bigger premises but you don't really need them right now but you're trying to you're trying to be presently be 10 steps ahead of where you already are with work or career and it doesn't even have to be that you've got your own business it could be that you know you're trying to pr build a life for yourself or a home or something um that's costing you a lot more money than you're currently generating from your present job you know like living outside your means a little bit due to desires and wants and dreams of other people but you're gonna you're gonna go back to the drawing board you're gonna be present you're gonna be stable and this is actually gonna help you to then get into that king of wands energy you've got here swords and wands like literally swords and wands So your thinking and your inspiration, your creativity, there's going to be, you're going to be coming, you're going to be getting a bit creative here. You're going to be going into boss energy, new ideas, new inspiration. You're going to be very present and grounded in what you're doing. Get re more realistic in your physical daily life. Communicate more with people in a more effective way. That That, that is actually, you know, your truth and and beneficial for you you know to explain where you're at and you're going to see a lot of things at that point if you are dealing with people in your life you're going to see a lot of things either they're going to start stepping up and they're going to start contributing more by the realization that you're not at a position where they actually think you are at and you need support or they're going to kind of you're going to notice certain things about them we, we uh realize certain realizations that might make you question certain relationship dynamics um, or even business dynamics. Um, but yeah, but you're going to start creating. I want to just, before I finish, okay, because this is getting on a bit, I want to just see what you're going to create. I've been scratching. I'm all red now, guys. Well, you are walking away from feeling certain things that don't serve you. So... I, I feel like that's emotional pressures. And then we've got the Queen of Wands as well. You, you're walking away from emotional pressures. You're switching off your emotions, I feel, here to get creative and get realistic. We've got the world here. Closing certain things up, but I feel like new things are starting because the fall is at the bottom of the deck. What is this new thing you're starting? We've got here the two of pentacles. It's weird because I feel like they don't really want to tell me. Again, it's like, it's just don't focus on that because don't focus on that. Don't You are going to be working more effectively with people, like in a team. You're going to have support with that three of pentacles with work. You're going to, you're going to be more working more as a team with others. But I feel like what, 
the answers that I'm asking for aren't coming out in these cards because you, it's like trying to get you out of a habit of being 10 steps ahead of where you where you're at. Be present. Focus on what is not in balance right now. Things are going to change. There's going to be solutions, but you need to stay present. That's what I'm getting here. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if this resonates with you. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is linked in the description, along with links to my crystal store for anybody who likes rare, unusual crystals and mineral specimens. And also a link to my TikTok, um, where I do daily readings and also go live and do free one question readings. So feel free to check that out, guys. And other than that, good luck with this. Good luck.